On March 11th, 2019, Path of Exile announced a new stash tab to be added, the Unique tab. This allows you to store and showcase one copy of every unique in-game. When I read that, I knew what I had to do. I've set off to obtain every unique in-game in the solo self-found game mode, filling the Unique stash tab completely. This shit will take a long ass time and won't be easy, but I'm always down for a grind. I'm Matt Lady, and this is All For One. I mean, I mean, I mean, these are all good things. These are all quite good things, because I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's territories unknown. Well, okay, either way. Either way, it's pretty good. That's three awakened orbs in six kills now. So, what's next? Bye, bye, progress. Okay. Oh, she's so far away. Your flesh will nourish the soil. Gotta dodge the ball. Oh god, that's so unfortunate. Fuck! <laughs> it's like I dodged the purple ball. Sad dab. See you in 130 maps. Pretty fucking much. What I wanted to drop? Um, just not, not a duplicate staff. Need 12, right? I think we need 12 tier, tier threes. Oh, thank God, we hit it. Oh yes. Augment crit. Augment crit. There are three, three crit mods: spell crit, attack crit, power turn and crit. I already have spell crit, and the other one's attack crit, and the other one's power turn and crit. I have on can't roll attack mods. The only crit mod I could roll is power turn and crit. Yeah, so it should be guaranteed. Yep, there it is. Nothing. Garbage! But I did get a bow. That's all that really matters. That's really why we did this. We did this for a bow. <laughs> we got our bow. Cool. All right. Now we just need to get a hunter orb, and then, or I guess it was, yeah, hunter. We just need a hunter orb, um, and then we have to get. Um, that's it. We just need hunter orb, so we can make make our bow to start crafting that. There's a res. Okay, so now the next one is a guaranteed hit. Of there we go, and it's gonna hit. Raise and pillage. Raise and pillage. There we go. Perfect. Perfect minion jewel complete. I think. Oh. Everything's fine. RNG be with us. You shit the bed. <laughs> you shit the bed. <laughs> you had one job. Make two fucking white sockets. Ay ay ay. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Another orb? Nope. Gloves. Everyone, take your bets. Take your bets. How many vowels will the gloves survive? Popular opinion chat seems to be between three, three and four. A lot of ones. A lot of, a lot of lack of faith, I see. A lot, of, a lot of lack of faith. All right. Valor number one, bada bing, and they're out of there. And spring, all right, nice. Oof, yeah, pink beams are easy for me. All right, we got a ring. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Freedom comes to those who fight. Freedom comes to those who fight. What the fuck? <laughs> what do we have here? What do we have here, sir? That's quite the vermilion ID. Holy shit. Tier 1 life, tier 1 and tier 1 all res. I mean... That's a... Uh, 
Probably the best ring I'm going to find this entire league, and I can craft crazy shit this entire league. Whoa, dominance. Which one's that one? Damn it! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! God, it's so hard to find a file of fucking boops! Now, when you do a shabby, the things go away. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. And there's Metamorph Polish Metamorph. What's happening, Chon? Gilded Sulfite Polish Sulfite. Gilded Sulfite Polish Sulfite. The fruits of my labor. <laughs> Here they are. Setting up my goddamn intervention board. Fruits of my labor. I call it easy awaken gem drop. Just made of orbs this league. Made of orbs, he says. More orbs and more orbs and more orbs. We can get line eyes again. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. And clean up the rest. It's not bad. It's not bad at all for me. I'm happy with that, yeah. Alright, what do we get for uniques? Dunes, garbage, garbage. Oh no. Brutal restraint. Wow, alright. That worked out. <laughs> that was the best case scenario. Absolute best case scenario. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Sure. I want a brutal restraint anyway, so that's fine. Normally you get more than, like, one unique period, but if I'm going to get one, at least it's brutal restraint. Whoa, that's nice. That's very nice, actually. I don't think this has ever happened to me before, where I'm... I have... <laughs> somehow... I have Barracks Respite and Barracks Grip, <laughs> but not a Barracks Pass. I mean, I could just put Nemesis on maps, and I'll probably hit that in like five maps. <laughs> Who has ever had that before? Both the rare rings. The really, really rare one. Pretty rare one. And doesn't have the fucking combo. So, I have this compound bow that... It's a hunter compound bow from a while ago. It's not very good. Um... It's low level also, but that doesn't matter. So I need a upgrade for my Chin Soul for playing on the uh, Dead Eye guy. I've been leveling him slightly. I'll show you how I pretty much level him. He's um capped res thanks to just like some random res gear put on. His damage is still meh, and I've, I'm using the Mariketh Jewel that I had from uh, when we did the four way war last. Well, I guess last stream. And I want to show off real quick what the actual setup looks like. For the Mariketh Jewel when I have it, you know, going, etc. So here's an example of uh, one of the people. It's a pretty standard, like, delve guy. And the, the things you grab that affect it are Heartbreaker, Frenzy Charge, Aspect of the Lynx, Aspect of the Eagle, and Force of Nature. Those are your five you have affecting it. So we can look at the Timeless Jewels in the wiki. And it should be Mariketh. It's these big boy nodes. So notables include Dex. Um... Projectile damage, crit strike chance, elemental damage, onslaught is nice to get also if I don't have it from something, but I probably will. So pretty much just uh, projectile damage, crit, LE damage, and dex. Those are the big ones. Dex is the biggest if you can hit as many dex rolls as you can, just 20 dex or 5% dex. These are the two really ones you want to hit. So if you can get like two or three of these and you're five, that's pretty much a fucking win. So we can see right now, currently mine is going to give me blind dex, which is good. Duration, not good. Poison damage, not good. Crit strikes, not good. New number, let's see if it's a good one. Okay. Evasion is not, I guess, the worst thing. Minion damage, fizz is cold. Crit strike chance, flash charges, pretty bad. Proj damage, blind, dex. Oh, hell yes. Oh my god, that's so good! Okay, we've hit it. <laughs> we've, we've hit a good one. I mean, it's not percent dex and dex, but considering where I'm at and how far this character is going to go, I hit uh, proj damage, dex, proj damage, 
crush damage, uh, blind. I mean, those are all things that affect me. These are all positive things. Um, so I'm pretty impressed by that. Anyway, another thing I could do is I have this weapon, right? It's not fantastic. We, we've already gone over it a few times. But what you could do is I could remove the elemental craft. Cold. The only cold mods are cold scaling, which is you know what we want from the decks. And then cold res, which we don't give a fuck about. So we can actually hit our... Uh, scaling thing for free by just augmenting cold all right augment cold so it should hit boom the scaling mod i just gotta get it to roll two to four now so normally you don't really level as this character because why would you uh but i wanted to because i'm stupid so this is how what time is it 705 all right i gotta make sure i don't fuck up my resets this is how i level this character i just do tier five maps like tier five or tier six white maps which is like pretty much my level or close to it it's 72 i'm 73 you put detonate mines on left click and you just walk around the entirety of the map with your with your tab up and you just tap right click this is how i level this character i'm doing like open uh or linear maps i don't even do the bosses i just skip the bosses do the single target thing i hold right click and then left click and that's that you just walk around tapping right click so it's kind of how you play this build in general, but I have a couple of free and infused nemesis, so I'm just putting them on a tier 16s, full scarabs, full sextons, you know, the drill, full wall of bullshit. Uh, we're just hoping to get a barracks pass. I mean, obviously, Headhunter would be the gross stream, but yeah, just hoping to get barracks pass pretty much just so I can get, um, get my, make my taming ring. Let's see if we can get a, uh, ring, cold ring. That siege is gonna fuck me, but at least I think rewritten's the cold one. Can't even remember if these actually have associated unique slots specifically or not. My, my boys over here. The zombies might die. Ruby ring. All right. Crit strike chance. Ruby ring. That's good for if I want to play the blade vortex and the chieftain though. Uh, buff effect fire res. Fire res. Come on. Synthesis map number two. Annihilate. What do we get? Whoa, sapphire ring. That's what we want to see. All right, come on. Don't fuck me. We want to have it have buff effect cold damage, right? All right. Buff effect max res. So honestly, still probably better than anything I'm fucking wearing. So, all right, synthesis map number three. My last one I have at least, so. Come on. Ruby again. That's not what I want. Um, what are implicits? Whoa. Triple charge implicits. What? Endurance charge duration, power charge duration, endurance charge regen point three. Let's see what the rolls are. Hopefully it's fire damage buff effect. Fire damage fire res. What's another one? Fire res buff effect. Oh, There's just garbage across the board. Shit, I can't hit a perfect rank to save my fucking ass. Remove random life, add a new life. Let's go. Wow, that's the best yet. Seven. Remove random life, add a new life. 55. Remove random life, add a new life. That's tier five. Add a new life. Garbage. Augment with a new life with lucky modifiers. Interesting. And I think that's it. No, it's tier three. Oh man, I'm trying to get what's considered tier two. I might just stay with that at this fucking point. So I'm just setting up my uh, thread of hope for the the dead eye now, and it has it's a very large mine rolled 16, but it's not the best, but whatever. And it hits some good things. You get master of force, which is really just for I mean strength and some damage. You have sleight of hand. Is that sleight of hand? That's the wrong one. You want wheel of blades. I don't want sleight of hand. That. And you get assassination. And then you get blast cascade. I think that's it. While setting up my um, betrayal shenanigans, still, you know, figuring, working things around. It's definitely going very well. I just have to rotate one more person. And then we are pretty much good to go. But I have another um, research safe house to run. Ideally, because Vagan is kind of expensive, but Vagan is trusted by a Thane. Verici is trusted by Fortification. I'm actually going to rotate Verici over probably, and then just run Vagan with it that fled, and just start blowing through incubators. 
the most important ones at that flat. I'm gonna give a shit who else is in the research with her. These are the two important ones, and she's the important one for me. So, uh, I can open portals because there's no fucking room. I mean, is that true? The day has come again where I found a singular eight. It's been a very long time since I found this. Last time I had this, I fucking shit the bed. Look at that. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, it's glorious. One. Just a singular blight map. Well, I'll take it. A little late night conqueror rushing. Get myself a good old Cirrus kill. Come on. Fuck. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. Not the one I wanted. Actually, it's the one gem I have a, a 620 of in standard, but I have zero use for this this league. I mean, I have Brutality now and Melee Splash. Um, I can't really complain. It's always good to see a gem, but yeah, there's, there's certain ones we're looking for still, like for this build especially. It takes you a couple times with a new build doing Cirrus 8 to really get used to it. Um, but once you do, it's like, just like last week when I did a hundred serious kills, it comes to another, uh, another walk in the park, you know? Come on, call him! Thank you. Oh, God, that's disgusting. You hate to see it. The only drop you can't see you're really a dupe of. And garbage other drops. Man, that's actually fucking gross. Oh, God. It's a 9%. Just to add salt to the wound. All right, Eternal Lab. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was low. <laughs> oh. The Man of Light still alive? He is for now, but move on left click. <sighs> okay. Mines go for that. That was a face. Oh! Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. These fucking indoor rooms are gonna kill. Are you okay? I don't, I don't know. Let's go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. He's a god. Oh, I did it. Oh, god. Did you fucking do I it? Did, I did do it. Yay. My hands are shaking. I've got ricochet. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, lab! <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Holy shit. Ugh. That was ridiculous. And we get rewarded with a boot and chin after all this. Oh, no. That's, that's not ever happening. <laughs> it's cold damage if you've been hit recently. If I'm hit recently, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Renegade Cash just dropped Step of Nerds and a Pariah. So, that's a thing. Thank you. Thank you, fucking swagged out Dead Eye Boy. So, I guess one of them dropped a Step of Nerds and the box dropped a Pariah. So, I have both my Pariahs now. So, I can run two white Pariahs. I'm never happy with John, I could literally that. cry. You remember what I was happened? talking about my belt and I was trying to get a, uh, the, uh, a tributes thing? Yeah, you got it? Hold on. Let me just, I gotta push it fucking one second. What were okay. the odds of this happening? I'm scared it's going to be really um, good or really bad. I don't know. One in eighty. Okay. I hit. I hit the one in eighty. I used the Dex essence on a hunter belt. And Did I you hit, hit Dex and Dex. I hit Dex and Dex I hit attributes. Yes. Send me the fucking belt, you animal. Wow, Ch Chon saves the league. Is that your name? <laughs> yeah. Oh, spare me. All right, look at me. I have all my fucking game checks. I'm like a goddamn hero. So I want to show off one thing real quick. We are going to get a level while we show this off, though. So this is how I've pretty much been leveling. I uh, Again, putting in white maps like shit ones I don't really need anymore. Mostly tier 10s and 11s so I can still pick up the seeds and it'll be useful. 
I have uh, my res. It's not positive. It's was well, positive. It's not capped. I have zero life on tree at the moment, so it's just whatever. Um, we have most of the base tree complete. Last thing we're doing is putting a survivalist into this frenzy charge, and then the next level is going to go into CI. That is that. We're pretty much ready to start delvifying. So we're just going to grab this level, and I just want to talk a little bit while doing it. So I, I've actually been on the level really chill. I haven't died too much. Um, it's not that hard to, be honest, to, to level a dead eye to the point where you can start delving, which I think is like 80. At 80, you pretty much have, you know, the levels you need to start doing the deep delving. From there, you just need, you know, the, the better the gear. It obviously makes a massive difference. And the cool thing is, I could practice, because I've never had to do this setup before. Uh, practice doing it in, like, you know, super, super low depth. Because it doesn't really matter, you know. If I have 60 ES... It doesn't matter if I get one shot in high depth or low depth. It doesn't really matter. So until I do 10 runs without dying, I am going to be at 151. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, and that's okay. So I'm going to start practicing. And we are going to see that fucking adventure. My gem links are not perfect. I don't have a single target set up, nor do I really need one at the moment. So I'm not really running barrage just yet. But that's fine. For rings, I think I'm going to just drop my rings and run... The Herald of Ice one, and then an Assassin's Mark ring. Uh, for no better reason than because I can. I could run... I don't have a Frost... I don't think I have a Frostbite one. Frostbite? No, I don't have a Frostbite ring. But I could probably find one if I had to. So if we put on our rings... Cool, we've got our rings on now. I don't need... The res on my amulet anymore, so I could put on some other amulet if I want to. I mean, even like a crew reward is better. So it's 1% damage per 15 dex is the prefix roll. The suffix roll is percent dexterity. And if I were to literally just like alk into it, it's 1 in 100, which is, you know, not great odds. This Deadeye is really going to be like a passion project for me. So I uh, I love playing the Necro and I'm going to be probably leveling even something else, maybe even swapping the Chieftain to Blade Vortex. But this is going to be like my, my main focus for for endgame memes as the uh, league progresses. Oh my fucking god, finally! Oh, finally, percent dex. Holy shit, that took forever. Uh, I just have to hit the damage scaling per dex on the other amulet, which is somewhere. This fucking thing, so... Alright, there it is. So, uh... Sh prefix the shapers. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, it doesn't really matter which one I do, I guess. They're both ID5. Okay, so we can Awaken Orb now. Um, so the only shaping mod is the one damage per 15 dex. Cool. Only Redeemer mod is the 12% increased dex. Cool. Awaken Orb. Which one feels more lucky? Ah, this one. Boop. I hit totally unusable things which is totally fine because I can hit, I can remove life and I can remove defense remove a random life mod from an item, goodbye life regen, and I don't think I even have uh, remove defense at the moment, but that's okay I think putting on crit's probably the safe bet just get crit chance, crit multi and then just fiddle with the remaining prefix, so an easy way to cheese this is we can just Craft on it. I don't have augment crits, but I do remove crit, add crit, so we can just toss on some. You know, I can put on low level crit. All right, remove crit, add crit, and it's pretty much has to either hit chance or multi. There's no other option. Remove random critical craft, add a new critical craft. We hit tier. Is that tier one fucking multi? Oh, tier two. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's fucking. That's fine. Oh god, that's disgusting. All right. There's our amulet for now. Once we get removed defense, we can remove the defense. Then we'll do the um, crit trick again next time we get that, which is remove crit, add crit. The only thing is that you know, there's a chance that we could hit the actual crit we need. Um, or I actually might just leave on the dex craft. It might be better than me hitting crit chance at all. I think working on the prefix is probably a better thing. We can actually do add cold if I have that. I didn't check if I even had add cold. Oh, I'm with a new cold mod of our lucky value. So yeah, we're just going to augment cold. Um, hope we The only cold mod... Well, we're, we're hoping to hit either high flat, pen, pff, a gain mod, something like that. Um, 
cold leeches of life, which is unfortunate, but you know, we knew it was we knew it was a possibility. So now we got two projects on the amulet: remove cold, add cold, and then the um, the uh, remove defense and put on something else for a prefix. I don't know. We'll probably well, it doesn't really matter. We'll figure that shit out. Either way, let's see what this puts our decks at. Holy shit, we actually did it. That's enough. That's nuts. Oh my god. You know how good this is now? So, for those who don't know, Curtain Call, if you get to the threshold of 800 decks, when you throw a mine, it throws an additional mine. This is the breakpoint. This is what we needed to get. I mean, our hit chance is actually 100% anywhere for the most part. Our tooltip is alive, but it's 47k. This amulet's nuts for me. I mean, it only has three usable, well, four usable stats. It's got the deck scaling, flat decks, multi is insane, and then the damage per deck, so... That's fucking nutty. Um, our ring at the moment is Circle of Mist. This is the wrong ring. I grabbed the wrong fucking ring. Not that it really makes a difference, but there's my shitty Circle of Fear. Um, it's probably gained more damage than the F-49. Hey, I've missed slightly more damage. Um, so yeah, we are all... I can't believe this place, but we're, we're totally set. We're pretty much ready to start doing Delve in this character at level 80. I mean, zero ES, but that's, that is what it is. Um, just full one-shot. Dodge the world build negative reds across the board. Chaos capped. Can't forget to put on Soul of Abarath. And I do have to get the Ancient Architect, the uh, prod removal, so we should probably get that too. It's the only, to my knowledge, it's the only pantheons that actually do anything is that singular one from Soul of Lunaris. So don't forget, the whole thing is that if I get touched by anything, you get you get one shot. That's, that's the rules. Something just touched me. I don't know what. And that's going to be part of the learning process. I mean... I'm pretty much going to be sitting at level 80 until I learn how to do, make this build where I play the character. Um, and then when I do learn, then I should be Gucci from there. I've done extensive research on a lot of the other people playing this build, like, you know, the real people who play it. Um, and it looks, oh, look at me go. There is Sin. There's our chance to avoid projectiles. Pretty much the rest of my nodes are going to go into regular jewel sockets. There's one there. And then it goes into cluster jewel sockets. Here's an example of someone on ladder. Their tree is, for the most part, identical to mine. And their setups are, again, for the most part, identical to mine. The only thing I'm not running at the moment is a barrage setup because I simply don't need to because I don't have the damage. The big one's getting high resire. That's just a, it's just an RNG thing. I don't have one yet, obviously, but you know, eventually I'll get one of my necro, eventually. So hoping for that sooner than later. Crafting my bow, which will look again similar to this, and it's actually pretty easy to guarantee a lot of this shit, is all waiting on me getting a hunter orb. This guy's running Tomb Fist with Ellie on hit, so you know, something like that's super cool. This guy's running the Frostwall setup, which I've seen some people do. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. He's also running Val Seven Skeletons. I've seen this also, just as like a... just to create a wall of body... fucking bodies to like block the area with. This guy's got Calling Strike Intimidate on Hit Gloves. That's very fancy. He's also running Pandemonious, which is... That's something I need now, since my amulet's arguably better than that at the moment. Previously, I had uh, Anointed Strength. Do I still need that? I don't think I do. No, so we can get a real anointment. A lot of them do one of two things. They either go... Um, where is it? Heart of Ice, which is expensive. Or, most of them just go Divine Judgment, just for fucking straight fuck you damage. And I am, I think, for the most part as ready as I'm gonna be until I get my upgrades and I I think that's pretty pretty fucking safe right now I need um remove life and I need remove fizz from a belt and then I could put on something else I have two prefixes and a suffix so let's see what I could do for that flask on crit is a thing bead is also a thing ultimately I don't think any of these things matter in the slightest <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much good enough as is, let's be honest here. Now, we could try a delve, and what I mean by try a delve is we could legit do a delve at any real depth that would cost a negligible amount of sulfite just as a test to see if I could even survive getting to the end. Because if I could survive getting to the end in a depth 50, effectively, I could survive getting to the end in a depth 400. I don't really have any tricks or things at the moment for this. We're just gonna keep moving and see what happens and maybe learn from a mistake or two. Probably not. Again, if I get hit by anything, I'm just dead, so. I'm not up to that just yet. I don't know if that's how I'm doing it's the right way to do it or I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. This is exciting though, doing something I've never done before in the game. 
don't know if I'm supposed to just run in circles or I'm supposed to sit in the corner and hold right click or My mana is gone. what's the right tactic here? If there even is a right tactic. Maybe just st Oh, I died. But I completed it. I'm not sure what I died to. Or what that even means, really. Well, to me, that seems like I can, it's viable. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So <laughs> next time you see me, uh, we'll have some big crafting moves to make between uh, recraft. I mean, we we're trying to get pushed to get, get our bow fixed. A full week of streaming. Can we hit a hunter orb? That's the real question. Redoing our uh, right another ring, possibly for a redeemer ring with some cold mods. Yeah, we've got so much crafting to do, so much harvest to be done. And uh, I've got a bunch of tier four bosses coming up next episode. To be exact, I have eight tier four bosses I'm doing, not to mention a Nanu Ashabi, actually. So. It's going to be a, a jam-packed one next time. So next time will be less crafting, less uh, less TED Talks, and more bossing, which is interesting. But I hope you guys enjoy the content. hope you guys enjoy uh, me going deep into the world of <laughs> Dead Eye Miners for this, uh, basically what is considered a end, you know, hyper end game trade league builds for mining, uh, delving, and I'm just going to try to make it work in solo cell phone. I think if there's ever a league to make it work, it's this one. Just the only big linchpin for drops is high res. If I can get a high res, I think I can make it happen. I still would like to make a taming, too. I'm not too far off of that as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm at Lady and I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, don't forget to catch me on stream if you can and uh, all that jazz, whatever, whatever. Love you. Bye-bye. I've never seen this glitch before where... Oh! Oh! I walk around and it's just a fucking light show. Oh, now it's gone. I'm not something. Oh, something in radius that they don't doesn't like. It's Zana. It's a hundred percent Zana. Just not a fan of Zana. Oh, where's the where's the yeah. where's the line? Oh, a little bit there. This, this seems like it. Yep. <laughs> oh my yep. god! It fucking hurts my head. It's uh, not ideal.